Praise the Lord, Facebook friends and YouTube viewers. Welcome again to another segment, Word Working in You, where we allow the Word of God to work in us for it to work for us. Once again, my name is Minister Felicia Applewhite, underneath the leadership of Bishop David G. May and Evangelist Mark Ravon May, here at the Mount Moriah Baptist Worship Center at 892 Clark Hill Southwest. Why don't you come and join us for Sunday service at 11 a.m.? I am so excited. I am so overjoyed. Joyed. And I'm overjoyed because the God that we serve, which is Jesus, is still on the throne. He is still healing. He is still delivering. He is still setting the captain free. People are getting saved. People's lives are changing. And I'm just excited. It may not be, you may not feel that that's happening in your life, but I'm letting you know it may not be happening in the part of your world, but it's just happening in the part in my world. And I just thank God for his son, Jesus Christ, that died on the cross for us. Once again, we have been talking at World Working to You, we have been talking about the fruits of the Spirit, and we've been talking about how we're supposed to have how we supposed to have the fruit of the spirit in us. And I know you have heard me say that these are the attributes of God. And I want to let you know that I have mistakenly spoken that that is the nature of God. We will talk about the attributes of God, but that is the nature of God. God does not have love. God is love. God does not have, have joy. He is joy. God does not have peace. He is peace. Amen. And so we're going to get right in the word. Today, my husband will be talking to you, and he will be talking about long-suffering. This is a fruit that we're supposed to bear. This is the fruit we're supposed to bear and express it through the Spirit of God. Amen. We can't bear it alone. We can't express that fruit alone. We need the Holy Spirit to live in us in order for us to do that. So with further ado, I give you my husband, Reverend David Applewhite. Be blessed. Amen. Blessings and favor to you all out there. Uh, once again, we're talking today about uh, long suffering. Once again, we go from Galatians 5.22, which says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. And then we're talking about long suffering. And uh, when we look at long suffering, amen, long suffering uh, is is uh, comes from the Greek word makaruia, which means forbearance and patience. Um, Makaru meaning long or temper, and so it is. It is having a, it's long uh, and it's temperate. In other words, uh, long suffering is is a godly spiritual temperament. Uh, and then instead of reacting to something that offends you in the flesh with anger. So long suffering is uh, uh, it is coming out of the spirit of God. It is a godly character coming out of the spirit of God. And it, uh, it teaches us, long suffering teaches us to uh, forbear or bear with people uh, through the temperance of the Holy Spirit. Um, it is instead of reacting to something which you will react to in the flesh like anger, then it is uh, showing mercy or enduring or it, uh, enduring provocation is being pro uh, or that is being provoked. It is uh, when you really want to retaliate. And so long suffering is for uh, others when you reach out to others patience is for you so when you patience is you waiting on god but long suffering is having uh is have having patience that is long it is for others in other words what i'm saying is when you go to minister to somebody uh that doesn't love jesus christ and, and doesn't know jesus christ you have to have that long suffering you have to you have to have uh that 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 patient that won't make you angry it's temperament you have to show god in temperament you can't go off on nobody you know because they don't agree with you or what you're saying about in the word can't go off on nobody because they don't know the bible you can't go off on nobody because they're not saved you got to understand you got to have that that is long suffering you got to have that godly temperament uh, it is turning off your temperament when you really want to retaliate 
uh, and, and gets someone that's coming up against the word of God, you have to have that, that godly temperament. Um, God had that temperament with us. In other words, uh, Exodus 34 and 6 says, The Lord, the Lord God is merciful or compassionate and gracious. He's long, long suffering, he's long suffering, slow to anger. That means and abundant in goodness and truth. And so God had that temperament with us. Uh, 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 he, when we were yet sinners, the Bible says, God, amen, he died for us. He kept that temperance with us. He sent his son to die for us. He kept that temper, temperament for us because he wanted us to have eternal life. Amen. He could have wiped man off the face of the earth again, but how do we, he decided, amen, to save us from our sins. And so uh, long-suffering is being tolerant of another's actions while they are going through the, through the salvation process. Uh, or when they are in a, the world or being worldly. So you got to understand, you weren't always the way you are when you were saved. You weren't always loving. You weren't always kind. And some of y'all still ain't loving. Some of y'all still ain't kind. But you have to have that long suffering because people, amen, go through, uh, when they go through salvation and they get saved, amen, they don't always, amen, have that, that temperament. And so God has to give uh, other Christians long suffering. God have to give pastors and God have to give your, your mother and them that say they have to give them long suffering. In other words, they have to give them that godly temperament so that they can be able, amen, to, to deal with you. Not, because if they don't, uh, listen, they will re react in the flesh. And, and the flesh says, I should knock you out instead of uh, I should have patience with you. When you own, when you own, uh, if somebody is on drugs, amen, and, and then they're, they're uh, doing worldly things, you have to have that temperament, that long suffering, that temperament of God. You have to be able to, to walk it out with them. And that long suffering has you able to walk it out with them. Uh, it is enduring godly character when you are helping others get into the kingdom of God. And so, uh, so you got to understand God puts that on the inside of you. It is not something that you have uh, of your own. You cannot have long suffering of your own. It is a fruit of the Spirit. It's the Spirit of God moving in you to have that temperament the same way God had that temperament when he got ready to die on the cross with us. When he got ready to do, uh, when he got ready to, to uh, come into this world and save this world. He was spit on and he was talked about. They wanted to kill him. Amen. But he stood here for three years. Amen. And he uh, he 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 taught them the father's love. He taught them about what the father should do. Amen. He, uh, he could have wiped Peter off the face of the earth uh, because Peter, he won. He didn't have long suffering. Peter wanted to retaliate. He wanted to he wanted to uh, come against somebody that was coming against them. Peter wanted to cut the man's ear off when they came to get Jesus. But Jesus told him, put your sword away. Because I believe this is not how we react in the kingdom of God. So Paul puts it uh, uh, like this. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is enduring. That word enduring turns into long suffering. Amen. It, 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 uh, it endures all things. It hopes in all things. You know, it trusts us in all things. So no, that's, uh, we can't have love without long suffering. Amen. We can't have God's peace without long suffering. So you got to understand, once again, long suffering is supernatural ability given you by God to endure, uh, endure actions. Hallelujah. To endure other people's actions or retaliations and actions uh, so that they can, so that you can get them or they can go through the kingdom of God and go through the process. And so learn how to uh, walk in love and suffering. Learn how to have that temper, temperament, that patient uh, temperament. Learn how to endure and love on people and, and uh, that will get them into the kingdom of God. 
more than you who's active and talented. Amen. Uh, and so this is what the, the fruit of the spirit that we have today. God bless you all. God keep you. Amen. And just remember, walk in it, stay in it, and uh, you shall have success in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I was just over here. I was like, Lord, help me. Help me to have long suffering for some of my family members. Help me to have long suffering for some of these people on, on my job. And you know, I am just, you know, every time my husband come up here and he brings forth the word, I, I don't know, I, I was sitting back here and I was like, the way he put it, it was just like, oh Lord, oh Lord, I need that, I need that. You know, a lot of us, a lot of us experience some of our family members and they just, you know, they know to say the right, they know how to say them things that can just get off your nerves. And then we got friends who say things and do things just seem like purposely to make you just want to just, just go off. But I thank God for the spirit of, I thank God for the Holy Spirit, the gift that he has given us so we can endure, we can endure it and we can have long suffering. We can tolerate other people's actions through prayer, amen, and through the spirit of God. We thank God for that. Not, I, I, I just I just thank you, Lord, because I needed to hear that. You know, sometimes we be thinking this word is for people that's doing, but sometimes the word could just be for us. Because Lord, I know I need that, amen, amen. So we just, we thank my my husband for that word, amen. He's, he's such a blessing, amen. I know he blessed me um, the um, last time too, amen, when he was talking about um, joy. Amen. So he really just blessed me again. Amen. Um, at this time, I'm going to have my daughter. She's going to bring forth a song. Amen. You know, we can try to find many, many, many verbs to try to describe um, God. You know, we all to try to find so many words, and sometimes we can't because he's, he's, he's just, he's everything to us. He's, I know he's everything to me. Amen. So at this time, my daughter's going to say, indescribable. From the highest of high to the depths of the sea, creations reveal your majesty. From the colors of fall to the fragrance of spring, Every creature you meet in the song that it sings, all exclaiming, indescribable, uncontainable. You place the star in the sky, you know him by name. You are amazing, God. All powerful, untamable, awesome before. To our knees as we humbly proclaim, You are amazing, God. Who sees lightning bolts and tells them where they should go? Or sees heavenly storehouses laid in the snow? Who imagines the sun? And give source to its light, yet conceals it to bring us the coolness of night. None can fathom, indescribable, uncontainable. You bless the stars in the sky, and you know them by name. You are amazing, God. You know, I am so thankful that we serve an amazing God. And for me to keep that God to myself and not tell somebody else, it would be wrong. And for me not to offer salvation to someone else would be wrong. Maybe y'all, they're watching. 
and say, I want to experience that amazing God. I want to experience the Holy Spirit, the gift that God has given us. I want to experience the joy, the love, the long suffering. I want to experience what you can today. You can today. I'm going to let my husband at this time offer up salvation. Amen. 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 Those of you who don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, won't you come and say this with me? Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. And I acknowledge that you that you are my Savior. I acknowledge that you are my Savior. Lord, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. I believe that you rose again so that I can have eternal life. Now save me, Lord. Save me, Lord. Touch me with your spirit. Yes. Fill me, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. You are now welcome into the body of Christ. Hallelujah. And you now get yourself in that Bible believing church. Walk that thing out, work it out, and you shall have the benefits of God the joy, peace, and long suffering. God's going to teach you how to walk all of that out. Welcome to the kingdom of God. The angels are rejoicing. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. A praise party in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Because you have walked into the kingdom of God and Jesus Christ is your Savior. Amen. You, amen. You're going to have retaliation from the enemy, from the devil. But remember, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God bless you and God keep you. This our prayer. Amen. 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 Once again, we're working you believe that when you allow the word of God to work in you, it will work for you. I want you to be blessed until next Sunday.